So, hi guys. So, uh, I'm going to do a video uh, about um, a look at your comments again. I went through all the comments just to see what you're asking me because most of the time I respond to uh, all the comments, if you see, but most of the comments I respond. But uh, there were many comments that were uh, very common, you know what I mean? I repeat uh, many times. So there was, of course, you know, every time you ask me what kind of uh, pencils I use, what kind of paper I use, like, oh, okay, this is really, uh, yeah, I get a lot of this, of course. So, but I got many uh, questions about blending, like a lot, quite a lot about blending. You always ask me, like, like what do I, how do I blend? How do I make it smooth? But how would I make it smooth like you do? Uh, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm gonna read some of the comments that I got. Just so I'm gonna try to answer you uh, in this video. I'm gonna try to uh, answer this question that many of you have. So for uh, example, we have a comment here. Sir, oh wait, sir, I can draw like this, but there are some problems in blending the shades. Okay, so I blend. Problem blending the shades, okay. I use blending tools. Uh, I don't use tools. I use just the pencils. I use blend them. I will show you later. But uh, the only time I use uh, some solvent, um, I will show you later. But uh, most of the time, I don't use anything. Uh, hi, any kind of blending tool again? Or with pencil only? Are you using. Oh, yes, that's the thing. I'm blending only with the pencils, you know. I don't use any tools, anything, I just blend with it. I'll show you. But like I said, the solvent, I don't use it. I just use on one drawing. Uh, I think it's this. Uh, yeah, I use it on one drawing. Maybe two on the hair. To make it easier to do the hair. But I usually I don't use uh, solvent. So that's the solvent that I used. You can use any solvent. You know, it's solvent for oil. You know, anything. And um, it works for with color pencil also, but I use it also for um, oil paint, oil paint. But like I said, I only use it in one drawing, I think, and usually I don't use it. Did you try? Okay, yeah, that's the thing. The main area I struggle with is color blending and how to build up the different colored layers. Blending again, so. That's what I'm saying. Uh, blending, it's like, because you're asking me all the time, how do I make it smooth? How do I make, uh, you know, the colors smooth together? You know, I'm gonna show you. That. I'm gonna show you. Um, how do you get all the colors so smooth? You know, so that's what you're asking me. Like that, you use a colorless blender. Yeah. I did use the colorless blender a few times. Not, I mean, I don't really use it that much. I just bought it just in case. I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, so with Prisma Color, that's the colorless uh, blender. Uh, I don't know if you can see. It's um, just like a. It doesn't have any color. It's, it looks gray, but it's um, it's like a different material. It's like plastic or something. Yeah, it's like a like a plastic. It's really hard material, and you just uh, something fell, and you just blend it with that. I mean, eh, it does not get. No, it's not great. No, I don't like it. Why don't you use blending? I like uh, to know. Well, I use blending. Yeah. I mean. That's, uh, that's how I blend it, just blend with the pencils. I don't, <laughs> I mean, it's a strange question. Uh, can I go about blending colors? Okay, uh, that's what I'm just, yeah, so that's what I'm explaining. Okay, I'm gonna show you, but like I'm pretty good at graphite drawing and to shade, I use a blending stamp. Uh, yeah, that also uh, is another thing, but I didn't use it also. Uh, I'll have to find it somewhere. It's kind of some kind of felt. It's like a something that's made of felt, you know. 
uh, can use it to blend. Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't think any of these. No, I just use, like I said, I'm going to show you. Um, the problem is the blending of skin tones. I'm blending it with white and I see the lines. I can blend it softly. Okay, you see, I can blend it softly like yours. Again, you want to you want to have look like soft. Uh, well, I didn't think of that. that I made it look smooth and soft, but I, I, that's what I do. But you just remind me that yeah, okay, you want to know that? I want to make it smooth and soft. Uh, yeah. Blending with white, I don't understand. I'm not understanding really the blending with white. Yeah, when I blend, I can use any color. I mean, I'm, people ask me what color is used to blend. I will show you, but I use anything. I mostly, uh, many times I use gray because it blends well with uh, skin tones, like uh, different kind of gray. You know, like it's a uh, Faber Castell, but uh, you know. You see the difference in the gray uh, and many kinds of gray, like five or eight, no, like ten different shades of gray. Yeah, I made a joke about the shades of gray. Okay, <laughs> okay. So, um, but I can blend with any color. It's just like you blend with what you have, just so it looks okay. You blend so it looks like the photo, the reference that you have. You know. You should research how to blend your <laughs> color best. I should research. I I don't need to research. I'm doing it. Like <laughs> anyway, very nice. After laying your color, what pencil do you use them use to blend? Okay, yeah, yeah that, like I said, uh, uh, burnish. Uh, yeah, to burnish the skin tone so smooth. Yeah, again smooth. So yeah. Like I said, I'm going to show you about you know, gray or skin tones, anything. Uh, use a smaller blending pencil to blend your colors. Gamsol, I think it's a solvent. So yeah, I use, uh, nah, like I said, I use it once. Just because uh, for the hair is good. Because I hate doing hair. Okay, that's one thing that you should know. Doing the hair on a drawing. I don't want to do that at all. I hate it. That's why my drawings, I cut the head and I don't do the hair. Why well, cut here? I don't do the hair. Like, I don't. But if it's short hair, that doesn't matter. But long hair, I don't like to do it. It's so long and so, so boring. I just say, like, no. And if I find a photo that has hair, like, on the photo, it just looks like a single color. Like there's no variation in the hair, just like a shade or it looks like black or brown. It's, it's easier for me. I just pick that because I can just apply some brown and that's it. The hair is done. You're all black. And the hair is done. I don't like spending time on hair. I just like spending time on a face. And I don't like drawing. That's the thing. I don't know how to, how to say it in my videos, but I don't like to draw. I, I like to draw, but I like to color most, mostly. Just apply colors. That's what, that's what I like. I don't, I don't draw, really. <laughs> I, mean, I, I used to before, but now I, I just apply colors. So the sketch. Many many people ask me, what, how do I do the sketch before I draw? Before I color? Before I apply the before I apply the colors? How do I do the sketch? I just trace it. <laughs> like I said a million times, I don't spend time on drawing the the, the sketch. I just trace because I'm too late I don't like it I don't like to draw I just like to spend time coloring okay so I'm gonna show you an example with my drawing just, just to show the smoothness that I'm talking about that, that you're asking me so I have uh, some light here you see the reflection so it's very smooth but it's more shiny because I put a fixative on it because uh, it's here. I use this. It's uh, like um, just spray it on it after you're done and it makes the drawing last longer. Because if you don't put this after a while, uh, the, the pigments 
on the paper will fall off, but it takes some time, but you know, it takes years and years, but I just want my drawing to last a long time. That's why also I use a paper that is pretty thick, like card cardboard. It's almost like cardboard, so it lasts. And uh, yeah, I applied this uh, after, so it lasts. But you can see, even when I don't apply this, it still looks uh, almost shiny like this. It still looks like this, so you can see that it's really like... Um, like it's smooth because I, I press really hard on the paper. And I, I apply a lot, a lot of layers, and I just like I, I keep pressing hard and hard, like you know, like I, I'm not gonna do anything, but I'm just pressing hard, and I just keep doing that over and over and over again with different colors on top of each other. You know, you see the video, you know, I keep doing that over and over, so that's why I end up with this result, you know. So. You know, so that's why I wanted to show you this, let you know. So, you asked me how I make uh, the, the skin look uh, smooth and everything. Okay, so, like for example, here is the main colors that I use for light skin tone. If I have a skin tone like this, I'm going to use something close to this. Uh, like a seashell pink here, uh, beige sienna, uh, white and... Uh, I'm often going to use a light umber also. These colors go well together. But there are other ones also, many other ones. I just have an example here, okay? Maybe if you're starting to draw your beginner, maybe you, you, you color like this, okay? Which, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's really pale and, you know, we don't see anything. There's no life in it, there's no... Nothing, or maybe you, you you press a little harder, but still, you know, there's a lot of gaps. There's not nothing smooth. It's not smooth or anything. Or maybe you you like you do some crisscross like this, something like that. I don't know whatever you do, but me really, <laughs> that's how I do it. Like I really press hard. Okay, what, there's a problem here. Okay, there's another. There was another color mixing it. So, you know, that's what I do, you know. I don't necessarily start like this. I might I might start, if you see me in my videos, I might start something like this, for example. I might start like this, which is, uh, you know, mid jump, not too dark. And then later I might add another car or whatever, you know, on top of it. And on this one, I might press hard, you know, to blend. That's how, that's how I do it, that's all. That's how I blend the colors. There's also another video that you can see that I explained this also. Uh, it's an early, uh, an old video, you can see it. So if you want to blend colors, you just, you do whatever you want. For example, okay, uh, if you want to, you can press hard, but not, not as hard as this, okay? Here I'm pressing hard, but you see that there's still some gap, you still see white, and you still see the paper here, okay? Here you don't really see the paper through it, but you still see the paper through it, but it's, you know, it's not as light as these, okay? So this is a good starting point, and from this you can blend it with whatever other colors, depending on what you see on the pictures, what's, what's uh, is the reference picture that you have, what kind of skin tone you want to make, it's your decision. There's no rules uh, how to do it, and what colors to use. You, ask, you always ask me which colors I you need to use for my drawing, uh, what colors, I, you know, which colors I did you use for the skin, which colors to use. You, know, you can use whatever you want. I can, I, I, I try to tell you which colors I use, but at some point, you, you have to make the decision, uh, whatever you have, whatever pencils you have, you just try, you know, just try, uh, have fun with it, you know, just try anything. There's no rules, there's no nothing, you know, just experiment with it and you're gonna learn. That's how I did it. So, if I want to blend, I'm gonna, like, I'm not, I'm not pressing hard right now, just to see how it looks. Okay, if I want to press it harder, I press harder. It's my choice, I do what I want. 
Okay, and then if I want to come back with that color again on top of it, I just continue and press hard. No, and if I want to change that, I do whatever I want. Like, uh, okay, let's let's try this one. It's a more pink, uh, another kind of pink. Just put it on top of it. That's all. You know, whatever you want to do. You know, there's no rules at all. You can keep going. Okay, I'm gonna add this one. But this one looks a lot like the other one, so there's no, not a big difference. Okay, let me add another one. Okay, I'm adding another one at top. Like how many colors did I add on top of each other? Now you start to see that that's a kind of level of uh, blending that I'm doing. Like many, many colors on top of each other. So I'm gonna start over, make a bigger spot, okay? Okay, let's say I start with this. Okay, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna start hard, but I'm gonna start like you know whatever. You can you can start like this. You know this one I started really hard, and I can still add some color on top, no problem. You know, whatever I can keep going. Whatever I want to add on top. This was the original. I want to add another one on top. Okay, let's keep going. Like, I guess there's a limit that you can add on top, <clears throat> but I mean, the limit is really high. You can keep adding and adding. I'm gonna make a bigger spot. Okay, did that. Okay, and okay, let's add another one on top. And that depends of what you want. You know, depends of on what you're seeing on the picture, and depend of what you want to do. You don't even need to do. You don't even have to do colors the same as the picture. You can make colors really different from the picture. It's gonna look really different. It's gonna have this its own style. Its own you know, original uh, uniqueness. Mm. So I can keep going. Um, which one did I put? Should I put uh, okay, let's, uh, let's put this one on top. See, I can keep going. when I will have to press hard to blend it. That's how I blend the colors. I don't use any tools, any solvent, anything. You have to try it to see what it does. Another one. Well, that's a kind of uh, like the amount of layers that I usually put, but I, I don't think I don't know in advance which colors that I'm gonna put on top of each other. I don't know. Just start, like for example, uh, in the shading here, uh, and I didn't even bother to not show the lines. I, I can see the lines here. You know, I didn't bother about that. So I started with like a dark, darker, like a brown, like for example, like this. Because I knew this was in the shadows, okay. So I, okay, I'm gonna use like some kind of brown because that's what it looks on the photo. And I'm like, okay, then I'm gonna add the skin tone on top. The seashell pink is what I use usually. So I added the skin tone. I'm pressing harder. Okay. And then you can see, it's, you see the lines here, you can see them here, but if I don't want to show them too much, I can go back a little bit on top, I can go back and forth many times. 
And again. Press hard. Okay. For example, I get that, right? And then I'm like, maybe later I'm like, oh, it's not dark enough. Maybe I wanted to make it like this, but I, I didn't follow this, but I mean, if, I, if I'm thinking it's not dark enough, then at the end I'm going to do a light layer of the brown on top. Try to not show it too much. If I want to make it a little darker, just going to apply it lightly on top. So that's how I do it, and that's how I blend the colors. And what else I need to show them? Um, so, and I don't have a rule really how to start. I see the, the photo and I decide where, what's my plan to, to go about to do it. And one thing I want to let you know is the angle of my pencils compared to the, the paper. If I cover a big area, I'm going to angle my pencil more horizontal uh, compared to the paper because I want to cover a bigger area and I'm not looking for details. But if I'm doing details like the eyes or something like that, I'm going to put my pencil more ver vertical because uh, I want more details. And I'm going to sharp sharpen my pencil more when I'm do doing details. But when I'm covering a big area, I don't really sharpen my pencil because I want the pencil, to b the, the tip to be flat so it covers a bigger area. Because people ask me why why do I don't sharpen my pencil, but I do sharpen them. It's just that I always check my the tip of the pencil and I keep rotating it. I, I, I check the angle on the, the tip and I rotate it. Like I always check it visually. And... Uh, it's always enough for me. I just have enough of the tip, just just the necessary. Uh, I don't I don't need to sharpen all, all the time. Sh sharpen it when I sharpen it is for details, for covering a big area. I don't need it as long as the the wood doesn't touch the paper, because pe I think people think that the wood of the pencil is touching the paper, but it doesn't. I always check. It. I just want to clar. I just want to clarify this. Yeah, with, uh, for example, with the white, uh, many people ask me, uh, not many, but uh, someone asked me about the white. Um, the white is like, depends. I can add it at first or at, at the end. For example, at this drawing, uh, this area is pretty light. So I could start applying white here, but not necessarily. I can this one. I just started applying the seashell pink like this because I knew this is darker, so I just applied this. So you know, white. I don't really apply it first. I apply that after. So I'm gonna show you an example. So if I do this a skin tone like this, it's the same thing with the rest. I just blend it with whatever, so I can blend it with white, and it's gonna be a little lighter, a little different. So I just blend it with white on top of it. It's lighter. It's that easy, you know. You see that I'm pressing hard. I mean, I'm just coming back and forth to the same place many times. You know, I just go around and go back. You know, that's it. I mean, the same kind. No, it's not the same kind as this, but you, you know what I mean. So that, that's our blend. So I'm gonna show you with. Um, uh, with this uh, colorless blender here, uh, with this okay, 
uh, it's not plastic here, it's not like a, a real pencil. So if I do this for example, like I'm not going to press hard to show you that I'm not blending with my pencils, I'm blending with the, the other one, the colorless one. Okay, if I put this one, I'm not pressing hard. Okay, see that there's still gaps so and we still see the paper. Now we can use the blender, but uh, wait. You know, I mean, it's like I force myself to not press hard to use the colorless blender. It's more work. I, mean, I just need to press hard, and I'm gonna blend it right away. But now I did it for you. So now I can just go with this. And I don't like this. I mean, it, it works, but I don't like it. Definitely works. But, uh, I mean, instead of using another pencil, I just use my pencil, I press hard, and that's it. I don't have to go back and do this. So, yeah. So that's the thing, uh, you have to press hard on the paper, don't be shy, uh, you know, your pencils are not gonna break, you know. Like, you know, do you want to see the difference between, like, this, and this, and this, and this. Well, there's no joke like pressing hard. I'm not pressing that hard, but you know what I mean? Like, that's it. That's all you need to know. It's like, <laughs> it's like you have to control the pressure. You, know, you want the light, really light pressure, like I'm doing the lightest I can. You know, that's the lightest I can. Let's do another one. We should have that control over how light you want it, how, how, whatever you want, you know, do whatever you want. So the pressure, you vary the pressure and you put colors on top of each color, on top of another one, on top of, you know, that's all. So I wanted to show you the, the colors in the light. Uh, wait, you see they reflect on the light? See, I didn't add anything on top, I just, that's straight from the pencils, you know, there's a reflection. So that's what you want, that's what I do. So if you want to do like this, uh, try it. They take any pencil, press hard, and see if you get this. See if you get some reflection like this. This is what you need, this is the kind of... Uh, layers and blending and pressure you want to yeah so just wanted to let you know and if you don't know what what colors to use to blend uh, I'm gonna give you an example okay, I'm gonna do another one here uh, you can use gray Gray is always a good color to blend. It works on portraits really well. I mean, there's no problem with that. If you don't know what to blend with, you just use gray. It's the best one, the easiest one. Usually a light one if you want, if you can. This is 10% warm gray. I usually use warm gray. You see, I use it a lot. It's a small pencil. Uh, usually it's warm gray, not uh, cool gray. And that's 10%, that's really light. And there's like 50. 30%, uh, 50, 70, 90%. So we'll get an, uh, all kind of shades of gray. It's like, uh, it's really useful, uh, you know, depending on what you need. But uh, yeah, so you can blend with gray. It's really easy. But it makes like, of course, when you, when you blend with gray, you have to 
blend that is going to be, you know, it's not, not going to be the same color. But you plan that before, you know. But usually you don't see it. And you go, if it's too gray, you go on top of it again with the original color. And yeah, so you can use gray, it's fine. And it looks a lot gray, I know. But trust me, when you do a drawing, it's gonna look like perfect skin tone. Like, <laughs> because, because you think that skin tone has to look like the same in real life, but it doesn't. When you do a drawing, uh, you can do almost anything. I've, I, I noticed that you don't even need the colors to look the same as a photo. I did a video uh, before about it, but I realized that you don't need to. You just need. I use. I always use seashell pink for light skin tone. Uh, you know, even even if I do dark skin tone, and you use light skin, uh, light uh, seashell pink, and I'm gonna use another one like light amber, two together, and you know I can do whatever skin tone I want. This is the main skin tone that I use. But if I see on a photo that it's a little bit more pink, I mean, it has some kind of pink like this. This is rosy beige or nectar. I have different kind of ro uh, ro uh, rose or pink. Uh, I'm gonna add it on top. I have different kind of pinks, different kind of uh, whatever colors on top. And if it's a darker skin tone, then I'm just gonna add this, for example. Light umber. I can make uh, different skin tones, you know. You don't need to be specific at all. It doesn't need to look like a picture. It can be your own style. You can always use the same color, you know. You can, yeah, you can always use the same color. But your drawing is gonna look like similar, but it doesn't matter. You know, so you can do whatever skin tone you want, you know. And if you see that the skin tone is more red, this is sienna brown. And I'm gonna add some sienna brown on top. And that's another skin tone. Whatever skin tone you need, if it's really darker, on top of the, like I have a for example, this is sepia. Which one is it? Oh yeah, this is all, all kind of different brown and different grays. This is not the usual one I use, but uh, it's okay. If you have a darker skin tone, you can add it. And it always depends on the picture. If the picture doesn't look like this, then you start with another color. Like if you see my pic my drawing uh, about the Black Panther character, I forgot the name. Uh, you know, I started really different because of the picture looks really dark, so I started, uh, uh, didn't start like this. So you can use whatever, whatever you want. There's no, there's no rules. So. Well, it doesn't look good here, but um, uh, just an example, but uh, you, you have to follow what the picture looks like. So uh, I hope it's enough. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments and I will maybe do another video. So let me know and I um, hope it helps you. So uh, thank you. Bye bye. Yeah guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you on the next video, bye!